Hey guys, it's Pilar Laster for DKTV, and man, oh man, there were some crazy injuries that happened in the NFL last week, but that's okay, my friends. Don't be discouraged. There's still some great combos and some great matchups for you going into week nine, so let's get straight into my week nine top five quarterback receiving combos, starting out with Drew Brees and Ben Watson going up against the Tennessee Titans. Now, I know you're expecting me to say a wide receiver, but Ben Watson has kind of found that slot like they were using Jimmy Graham in the previous seasons where he's really the one who's getting the most targets, he's the one who's ending up with the most receiving yards, he's finding the touchdowns, he's killing it for fantasy players, and to be honest, while we can't expect the exact same amount of numbers that we saw last week going up against the Giants' core secondary, we can expect a, a fairly good amount of action between this particular combo. The Titans are allowing an average of 197.9 net passing yards per game. But if there's one position that I feel that sometimes, sometimes those Tennessee Titans just let slip into the end zone, it's going to be the tight end. So this could potentially be a great matchup once again for Drew Brees and Ben Watson. My number four quarterback receiver combo is going to be Ben Roethlisberger and Antonio Brown going up against the Raiders. Now, I know that this is a very heavily favored combo and how could it not be the Raiders they may be winning the games but they're allowing an average of 302.1 net passing yards per game Heath Miller could even have a really good game this time around the Steelers have got that high powered offense who can put up some massive points really fast so we've also seen what Carr can do he can keep up with that tempo as well so this could potentially be a very high scoring game and a great great matchup for Ben Roethlisberger and Antonio Brown my number three quarterback receiver combo this week is going to be Eli Manning and Odell Beckham Jr. going up against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Look guys, there is no way that we can expect another six touchdowns from Eli Manning in a single game again this year, but I don't know. Going up against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, poor defense. They've given up 17 passing scores in seven games. They've only forced four interceptions. It could be another game for Eli Manning where he's going to get multiple touchdowns. This is a team that's certainly not putting any pressure on the quarterback, so it should give him that warm, fuzzy feeling and that comfort to be able to throw the ball deep and connect with Odell Beckham Jr. This is just a fantastic matchup that's a little too hard to pass on this week. My number two quarterback receiver combo for the week is going to be Peyton Manning and Damaris Thomas going up against the Colts. First off, I love revenge games. Second off, while I was a little bummed that Peyton Manning didn't have any touchdowns last week, it was so great to see that offense finally starting to click. The Colts are tied for 27th in the league right now, allowing an average of 280 net passing yards per game, and they've given up 14 passing scores to date. Look, if Thomas can put up the same amount of numbers that he put up last week, but this time actually find the end zone, this is going to be a huge money game for him. I love this matchup, guys. And for my favorite quarterback receiver combo this week, it's going to be Tom Brady and Julian Edelman going up against Washington. Guys, somehow it's Edelman who just manages to get into the end zone all the time. He may not always be the one who's going to lead the team in receiving yards, but boy, oh boy, this kid is a repeat offender when it comes into getting the touchdowns. The Washington pass, Steve, they're allowing an average of 232 net passing yards per game, but you know what? They are certainly not putting very much pressure on the quarterback to date. They've only forced three turnovers. And guys, Tom Brady is just too darn good. He's going to take full advantage of that and have a field day throwing the ball against them, which could be a fantastic matchup for Tom Brady and Julian Edelman this week. All right, guys, so there you have it. Those are my top five quarterback receiving combos. And our friends over at DraftKings are going to once again be giving away five tickets into the Millionaire Maker. You know what to do. Just, just go and subscribe to DKTV and then retweet this video. You can either do it from the DraftKings account or my account at RealPolarLastra. And DraftKings will at random select five lucky winners to get a free entry into the Millionaire Maker. So. Go and subscribe and then retweet. All right, my friends, so good luck to everybody in week nine. You know I am pulling for all of you guys to win a whole lot of money this week.